Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so uh, today is literally going to be uh, the start of a new project. Um, I'm just looking for um, my pen, which I can't find anywhere. Okay, so today is the start of a new project. Um, I am doing a William Morris uh, I always want to say William Holden, but yeah, a William Morris themed journal. Um, I am denied um, about whether to do a journal or whether to do a um, altered file folder. Uh, and I was gently prodded on um, YouTube comments to do a journal. So thank you, Lisa. <laughs> um, I'm going to record this series or well, as a series as much as I can um, but I make no promises about whether or not that's going to actually um, be put up. Um, I find with journals I'm so indecisive that I prefer to make them uh, and then just do a quick um, run through. So just to get us started, give you a bit of a flavour, um, I have got a kit from uh, Nanine at um, Collage Type. Um, I've printed all these back no, without a backing because I was going to do a file folder with them. Um, so I will be printing a load more of these um, back to back so we can use those as signatures. I've also got a, a number of w uh, William Morris cards, uh, postcards that I'll also be using as part of the um, process. And then... Uh, I went to one of our local uh, Hobbycraft stores um, and managed to find some of this William Holden, sorry, William Morris, see? <gasps> William Morris fabric, um, which is what I'm going to use to cover the journal. So we've got this as my fabric. And then I've got some laces that I thought matched that quite well. Uh, I love this blue one, really love this blue one. I've got some more laces if I need them, but at the moment, this is the plan of attack. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to try and work on um, the, put the signatures together first, um, and then start to create some uh, ephemera to go into the signatures. And then we'll look at putting all that together and pulling together the um, journal cover as the last kind of thing that we um, work on. So I hope you're going to stay with me for this process. Um, it's going to be a bit of an interesting ride. And um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. OK, so I've printed out some of the papers from uh, Nanine's um, journal kit. Really love these. Not sure how many signatures I'm going to do. Um, but I've got some papers as a starting point. Um, I've also that's not to do with the kit. I've also printed off um, a load of the ephemera. Now that's printed on a cream card. I'm not sure I like that, um, but I certainly don't want to waste it. So I'm going to cut it off and see what it looks like. Um, cut it out even, see what it looks like. Um, yeah, and go from there. So I'm not going to uh, make you wait. I will be right back. OK, so we've got our papers. Um, there's two kits that I've used for this. One of them is um, the William Holden papers uh, that Nanine did. And the other one is the William Holden journal kit. Um, and as I said, they're 
they're really really lovely papers so uh, I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing with these um, so yeah I don't know how many signatures I'm gonna use um, I generally as a rule of thumb these days go with three signatures uh, and I also go with a not a sewn in um, signature but a um, elastic signature which gives a lot more options in terms of um, how the person wants to uh, kind of work with their um, work with their journal so it allows you to uh, take them out take the signatures out um, alter them put some some different things in place um, yeah, loads and loads of options with using the elastics as opposed to uh, sewing in your stick signature. Um, and I always find it a little bit um, tidier as well, to be honest. My stitching in isn't um, the greatest. But there you go. So we've got a couple of pages so far that we'll use as signatures. And I will uh, mix and match these with some coffee dyed papers, um, some uh, vintage music sheets, possibly some vintage uh, book pages. Um, and as I said, I'll build these up, uh, but I will print a few more of these off before we uh, finish with the signatures. So I'm gonna pop those and the fabric away just for now until we are ready to uh, kind of work with those. So yeah, the first thing I've got is, as I said, some uh, ephemera that I've already printed off. I'm really keen to use that, but I've also got these pieces here. Um, and if I'm not gonna use them for the altered file folder, although that is still an option, then I think I would like to be able to use these um, for part of the ephemera. <clears throat> the other thing I'm going to do um, with this journal is I'm going to take a load of um, kind of learnings from some of the past projects and um, some of my ideas books and see how much of that can be incorporated uh, within this project. <clears throat> so um, I'm just going to now crack on and cut this ephemera up um, and I will be back with you uh, once we are in a position to start. Okay, speak to you soon. Okay, so we are all fussy cut. I've also got some scraps of vellum. Um, and we're going to have a little look at what we're trying to put together. Okay, so I'm going to use this as a bit of an indication, indication even, of my page size, although it will be slightly smaller than this. Um, and that'll help us kind of judge our or what we're trying to um, create with our ephemera. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, that's well, probably a bit too rough it is, yeah, not going to get away with that. So I'm just going to cut those old bits off. And do the same with the top. And then I'm going to take some of this off. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm going to use this, excuse me, stretching as a side tuck spot. Now I'm not going to, I was going to put some vellum over the front of that to have a vellum pocket. Um, but the picture is really, really pretty, so I don't really <clears throat> want to lose any more of that picture. So, yeah, this is the part now, which I probably the reason why I never do record my journals on uh, video is because I'm so, so indecisive and I just kind of wing it so much. Um, although one of the things I will share with you is my super, 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 super new addition to my craft table, uh, courtesy of Corey Damon um, from Creating with Scraps. Um, and I got in touch with Corey um, about one of these. Um, and she kind of, we, we had a bit of a chat about what I use mainly uh, on my craft table. Um, and she put this one together, custom built it for me. Um, and it, I absolutely love it. Um, it's perfect. It's brilliant. So that got used on day one. Um, I've probably should have uh, mentioned it at the start of the video rather than halfway through. But um, better late than never. But it really is absolutely fantastic. So Corey Damon creating with scraps. I will link her Etsy below um, because, as I said, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and Corey does um, kind of configure them um, in a way that suits uh, what you're after, what you use. So, yeah. I was chuffed to bits with mine, and as I said, it went straight on my desk. Um, absolutely loving it. Loving it, loving it. Okay, so I'm going to use this as a side tack, um, but I'm not going to waste this bit. I'm actually going to use this as a corner. Um, not a corner, sorry, a side pocket or side tech, side pocket. Um, definitely going to use that. So let me just have a look. I've got some lace bits here. I don't want to put too much. I kind of like to um, develop the ephemera before I kind of embellish it. Uh, I've also got some of these gorgeous new flowers that I did using some of the um, materials from uh, I moon craft, um, so I'm going to try and incorporate those if I can as well. But yeah, we're definitely going to go with a side tap there, and we will go with a side pocket here. So yeah, I hope you're all well. Um, weather's starting to brighten up. Um, it's actually really feeling like spring. Uh, so much so we ate out in the garden uh, over the weekend, um, just because it was, as I said, the, the weather was really lovely and um, yeah, it made everything feel really, really good. I think <clears throat> just a little bit of sunshine really does make a difference, doesn't it? You know, especially after all the dark nights and the weather we've had. Um, yeah, it's it's great to have a bit of um, feel good. Definitely great to have a bit of feel good weather. Okay. Um, sorry, I am li literally just winging this now, so you kind of, you can either fast forward or um, kind of stop altogether. <laughs> uh, and I certainly won't take a fence, offense, oh, offense. Oh, okay. 
I'm hoping that is going to fit. Might be just as well to get one of the signatures out so I know exactly what I'm working with. Yet, I'm going to have to be taken down just a little bit. Um, yeah, just a little bit, I think. some bigger ones somewhere um, I think these are the bigger ones that's a bit clashy no no I think this might be the opportunity to do a vellum pocket here yeah, okay, so we'll... Um, and what I think I'm going to use on this is, um, you know, double-sided tape uh, because it's great with vellum and really does help uh, the sticking process. started filming it's later in the day now um, I started filming uh, tea time and it was lovely to have the um, we got blackbirds in the garden and it was so lovely to have the blackbirds singing and oh gosh I just I'm so 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 looking forward to summer Straight enough, <clears throat> not perfect, but certainly straight enough. I go through phases with coffee dyed paper. One minute I'm loving it, and the next minute I think it feels really um, kind of like dirty and um, looking. But um, I think it really does complement this paper really compliments it so yeah I'm happy with that okay and we're going to keep all of these because uh, believe it or not we are going to use them so with this one here I'm going to have this as a full center pocket um, but I want to have a bit of a pocket underneath it. So do you know what? I think I'm just going to go with this here. So we'll have a kind of tiny little pocket and a slightly bigger pocket. Um, do you know what? This has started coming out brown. I don't know if what's going on with it to be honest but um like a creamy color i must have got some ink or something stuck in here which isn't good 
it needs a good clean. Um, do you know what? I'm not going to do that. Uh, it needs a really good clean because um, I've put two lots of ink in without um, cleaning it or, you know, out in between. So, yeah, I do desperately need to clean it up. I hear all these people talk about how they... Um, how they kind of clean up their brushes and their all of their tools um, and <laughs> I just chuckle um, I know now as well why this is brown and that is the pin I'm using looks as though it's a bit rusty so that is why Okay. I probably should have um I probably should have <clears throat> um inked that. Yeah, the pen is brown. It's not clever. Okay. So yes, if you're going to ink your pocket, do it before you stick it on. See, now you see, I'm going to have to use the cutter, why I don't use scissors. Because <laughs> I cannot cut a straight line for love nor money. Okay. So I'm just going to ink around that edge. Beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, this one, really, really lovely. And uh, yeah, it kind of makes it a pleasure to work with them. Okay, so we have got a full size pocket. Take that off. Full size pocket. And let's have a look and see. I know there's some tags here. I might have a look at that and see whether that is worth a like that. So I think we're going to go with that. These are all just pieces of ephemera from the uh, kit. And they're really lovely. So I've just sat and uh, watched television while I cut them all out. So that was one of my least favourite jobs. Okay. Yeah. Definitely liking this. I pin the um, pin the tail on the donkey. This is is so funny because I can never um, put it back in. Gosh, this is where you get to see the true mess uh, that kind of is my crafting self. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I need to pin that down a little bit, but that's fine. So we've got a side tack. I'm not going to do anything else with that because I love the colour, I love the pattern. We've got a full-size pocket with a vellum pocket here and a smaller um, pocket there. I'll just run that along that. And we have also got, <coughs> excuse me, a side pocket. Um, 
and I think I'm going to do some uh, additional embellishments on that. I'll dress that one up a little bit. How I don't know quite yet. Um, might use some of this leftover as clusters um, with some get some nice um, material to put on top of that so yeah I'm going to keep these little ones here just as clusters uh, okay so we're making a start and we've got then some I think I'm going to have this as another side pocket especially if I'm going to go for three if I'm going to go for three um, signatures which I think is very likely I actually like this card I didn't like it at all when I started working with it because it was just too it's supposed to be cream but it looks very orangey um, so I wasn't sure to be honest but um, I actually like it the more I use it. So yeah, I think it might turn out to be quite nice. Okay, so what else have we got in the kit to use? We've got some of these here. Um, and now these were postcards. Um, and instead of, I've got more here somewhere. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? They're here in this madness. Right, yeah, so we've got some postcards here. Um, really lovely. But what I did with these ones uh, was I put them both, um, I left them together. I haven't cut those separately because I'm going to use these to go over two pages, uh, front and back. So again, I'm going to put a little divot in there just a little one this time oh. and I'm just gonna ink this that's all my um do you know what I, I don't know if it's just me um but I seem to go through a huge amount of these sponges. I think I'm just too heavy handed. Um, yeah, I think that's what it is. But it's really, really nice at the moment to be um, working with a new kit. Uh, I've worked with a couple recently. I did. Um, <clears throat> A guest design team project for uh, Nanine at College Type. Um, I'm working with another one of her kits now. Is uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a nice change. I've spent a lot of time on the uh, page layout ideas book. Um, that it's nice to be able to just you know focus on something else to be honest um although i did enjoy that hugely enjoyed that but it's still nice to um be working on something else so yeah that was um that was a lot of fun um i forgot where i was going with that yes i have also been working on uh, a couple more design team projects um Rach from Rach and Bella Craft uh, has got a big collaboration coming up in April. So, yeah, really looking forward to that one too. Um, yeah, it's it's been a really busy couple of months, to be honest. And, and I do feel like uh, I need a bit of a break. But that, what that break looks like um, is another story um yeah okay so this one here i'm gonna put it on here even though that wasn't the one i was going to choose initially 
because I think it really blends in with the green on the stamp. And I'm going to have that as the, so this will go over a journal page, probably a coffee dye page to be honest, like this. And there'll be a pocket here because I'll attach this. There'll be a pocket there because that'll be attached. Um, and this will give us another little pocket there as well. So yeah, liking that. I should have another one of those cards somewhere, which I do. Although I don't really want everything to look um, the same, you know. I want there to be a little bit of uh, variation. Um, yeah, I do like that. Just to, you know, I'm gonna, do you know what I'm gonna use? Um, I'm gonna use my glue stick, I think, for five. Because I'm not getting on with um, the art glitter glue in that container. So, just use this at the moment. Okay, and that, as I said, is literally just the two pockets that are going to go over like that and like that. So they'll go over two pages. Okay, okay, so we're steaming ahead. Um, we've got some more postcards here, uh, but I don't know yet whether I'm going to use those as journaling cards or pockets or tacks. Uh, so I'm going to put those to one side just for now. We've got some gorgeous um, cards here again as well. But again, I don't know yet whether I'm going to use those for texts or pockets or uh, what. I haven't really haven't decided on those yet. Um, so I'm going to put those to one side. And probably um, show up a lot more um, when I start to put the signatures together. It tends under that stamp again. It tends to come um, come together then. So I'm not gonna try and force anything at this point. It's just all gonna be. Um, what uh, looks okay and feels okay. So these are some of the bookmarks that came with the kit. And again, what I've done with these um, is I was watching a video um, that Tanya did. Um, Tanya from Tatty Treasures, who works with a lot of uh, Colleen's kits and um, she kind of, I'm just going to square that off a bit, you can see how much that doesn't match and if I take that, which is going to be better, it will have opened it up a bit. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to put that very top section in. Such a messy pep. Okay. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put a a hole in here with my crocodile. Sorry, excuse me, distraction. Not not rats, and I want eyelets. That in there like that. I don't actually know what colour um, I'm going to be doing the cover yet but I think whatever I choose is going to match this. I 
Okay, so what I'm going to do with this then is I'm going to put a notebook in here and then this will pop over the page in theory and it doesn't stand out too much and it will add a little bit of interest. So uh, you can either leave it as a tag like that um, or you can put it as a bookmark. I quite like it as a tag like that actually, the more I think about it. So that is an option. Okay, <clears throat> I've got another one of those somewhere in a slightly different colour that we can come back to that. And I know I can hear you all saying, how on earth do you work with a desk like that? Um, and believe it or not, I often ask myself that very question. Okay, so the next thing is, I think, going to be, let's take some of these pockets. Oh, um, yeah, pockets. And I'm going to use my scoreboard just to get a really nice, um, a really nice finish on these. So I'm just going to do these ones for now. And these will make really nice pockets for the journal. It's funny, I really don't like recording journals. Um, because as I said, I just... I never really have any ideas for when I'm starting. I kind of just like to look and feel the papers and kind of get some inspiration from there. But it's not much fun to watch on phrase and it's not very structured. So it's not like a great, um, a great video for people to kind of get ideas from because it's just all so haphazard um, so yeah I am sorry if this is a bit disappointing and it just has no um, structure in terms of you know you focus and you do all this and then you do the signatures then you do the cover then you do the ephemera or, or whatever there's just no logical sequence I just kind of flit from one to the other so I give myself um give myself whiplash sometimes so that is a disclaimer before you uh set up with any um expectations for what this is going to be. Uh, I'd just like to kind of manage those at this point. Okay, so great stuff. So again, we've got some pockets. We've got a load of tickets here, some bigger than others. Um, Yeah, so again, let's try with the um, art glitter glue again. It just, when you stop using it, unless you put the pin straight back in, it just comes out all over the place. Which is a waste of it, and it also then makes it a bit messy for your next lot of projects. Okay. Ooh. 
for it. Um, I thought I had some more of these cut out singularly, uh, but that actually doesn't look like it's the case. So we'll just have a go here. See? How are you supposed to stop that, eh? Obviously, somebody's going to tell me to put the pin in, which, yes, it would be the logical thing to do. Okay, so what I'm doing with these is I'm just popping some pockets on the front. Uh, I'm not going to do it for the rabbit ones again because I just think they look too nice to be covering up the pattern. Oh, I haven't cut those out. Okay, yeah, so there's our pockets. Those two are not going to use anything in them uh, just because we don't need to. And these ones here, we've just made a little, have I? Yeah, little pockets on the front of these ones. Now, just looking to see if these cards will fit in, which they will. So I'm going to use a couple of these cards. Um, as journal cards, I will, well, there's no need to back them because um, they're fine to write on, but I will put some ink around them before I finally um, finish them off. And this kit is just so easy to work with. There's just so many, um, you know, the ephemera kind of just does itself. It um, really is lovely. Okay. No, nope, that's not going to go in there. It's a smaller one. So at least we've got five pockets there. Um, and we've got journal cards for four of them. And I know that there are smaller cards here somewhere. Here. So I might put, I might use that and put a couple of these cards in. And what I'll probably do, yeah, they're a much better fit. So I will ink around those. Um, I need to ink around that. So I will ink around all of those. And I might even put some tabs on them okay so that's five of those still haven't decided what i'm going to do with these the million dollar question we've still got a couple of these got some more ephemera and we've got this is another one of those um, cards that i'm going to turn into a over the top um, card with some either as a notebook or just use the middle piece as um, a writing spot. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna cut this again. Need that. And grab another one of these. You don't have to have if you haven't got any eyelets, you don't have to put eyelets in there. <clears throat> Just put some string or um, I'm gonna use some hemp cord, I think, um, in the here rather than 
uh, ribbon just because I think it goes better with the overall um, the overall look and feel. So we've got some more tags. Okay, we've got a coin pocket. We've got some more smaller tags and a smaller piece of ephemera there. Again, I've done the same with this tag. Um, you know, you've got an option then as to whether or not you want to, what you want to do with it, you know. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put some clips on these quickly. I might use some um, paper clips just to keep them all together so we're a little more organised. I might try to use these, um, make some bigger pockets like we did with um, our initial pieces and um, use those as like a second pocket on them. It's an option. Okay, uh, we've got this and this and we have also got our coin, um, coin pieces, but as you can see, yeah, I can't even fold those, uh, which is why I've used the scoreboard. So we've got two of those, uh, another tag, and here is our scraps. Okay, see all of these you would think aren't going to be useful, but they very might, very might, they may very well might be used or useful even. So I'm going to keep those just for now. Okay, so let's just have a quick review of what we've done. So we've cut up some of our signatures um, and we've chosen our paper, um, we've chosen our material. Um, the signatures I will be um, printing and cutting out more of these uh, and I'll also be adding some tea dyed paper. And in terms of the ephemera we have done a full pocket here and this will cover the entire page um, width wise. We put some um, coffee dyed vellum on top as a pocket and another little pocket there. I could stitch around that um, if I wanted to. Um, I'm not sure yet what we'll do with that. We've got another, oh we've got a side tack here. Really plain, really simple but the picture is stunning. It doesn't need anything else. We've got two side pockets, tacks here, um, which I will probably stitch around. And I will also um, put some laces probably on these. Um, and I'll have one up, one down. We've got um, two double pockets that are going to go over our page. Um, one of them with a, another pocket there. The other one we've left blank at the moment, and then we've reversed it. Um, we haven't quite reversed it, but we've got another side piece there. We haven't put a pocket on there yet, but that's still an option. And we've just put that on for a little bit of interest. We've got a couple of these, which are going to be tags that are going to go over our page, like so. Um, and we may decide to put some bookmarks in there yet. Um, that's still up for debate. So we've got these two. And then we've got our five pockets with journal cards um, or bookmarks, whatever you want to make out of them. A couple of them have got a separate little pocket on the front and the back bunny ones don't have any of that. So, yeah, good start. 
I'm going to call it a day for now. Um, and then pick up again with you um, probably tomorrow and uh, try and get um, further through. So until then, take care of yourselves and we'll speak soon. Bye for now.